Hey guys, what's up? Caleb from Comico here. We're going to do a showdown today between Uncle Ben's and the new Comico mini bags. Pretty big key differences here. I think you're gonna get a lot from this video. I'm super excited. Let's jump straight into it. So we got the Uncle Ben's. It's very accessible. It's sterile grain. It's exactly what you need in that sense. You can go to Walmart, you can go to the dollar store, you can find something just like this. So the convenience factor is pretty hard to beat. However, there are some pretty big issues with this. Um, and if you are a big fan of this method, nothing against you, I, I totally get it, but I mean, obviously, you can only really see what's going on from the bottom, right? And also, when I look in there, I notice that this rice is really wet. And that can be a big pitfall for beginners if they put too much LC in there. Um, you don't want to drown your mycelium in liquid. And then, you know, you can't see what's going on in here. You gotta cut this thing open, which, for demonstration purposes, I mean, I'm not gonna run this flow hood here, and, and most people don't have a flow hood, so it's pretty clean in here, um, none of the air in here has been moving, so we're gonna, we're gonna do all this in open air. So what you've gotta do is either stab into the bag with the needle and cover that with tape, or cut this corner, put your LC in, and then cover that with tape. But either way, you've got you've to open up this bag because the mycelium needs air, right? So let's go ahead and, and just do this real quick. Um, all this has been cleaned with isopropyl alcohol very well. Uh, I'm just going to spray the bag again. We're going to take our scissors... Spray these guys again. You can't ever use too much isopropyl alcohol, in my opinion. And we're going to inoculate it with some of this ski bum from Colorado Cultures. So, yeah, I will show you guys how this is done. Make sure I've got the micropore tape here close by. So, pretty simple. Um, not too bad. And by the way, this piece of tape is just so, I don't know, I don't get in trouble. I just kind of wanted to cover the logo. But uh, yeah, this is the precarious part, so I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to do it real quick. I can have this all ready to go. All right. <laughs> Does that mean... Uh... <laughs> it's not sticking super well because it's still wet with the isopropyl. I mean, if you're going to do this method, that's what you've got to be most careful about, right? Is... I mean, this needs to be done very well. I'm going to put another piece right up there because it's... Man, this, this method sketches me out, man. It's like... I'm probably not doing the best job possible here, but you got to be prepared to fail with this method. Um, it's a bit precarious, but that's the gist of it. This is how you do it. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with this method. 
I mean, it's sterile grain. Hopefully nothing fell into there for the few seconds that it was open and I'm just taping the ever loving crap out of it, hoping that nothing gets in there. Um, I think that I've left enough of this gap for airflow, but I am not counting on this coming to full fruition. I mean, if it contaminates, I'm not going to be surprised one bit. So there you have it. That is the Uncle Ben's method. Very popular because of the accessibility of this. Um, but oh, guys, it's there. I don't know. So I'm going to put that aside, clean up here for a second. And we're going to talk about these things. So obviously, okay, we've got rye, we've got popcorn. And then on this other side, and you can see there's a lot of room in here for us to break it up later on. I, I just fold these bags in half. On either side, wow, an injection port, no way. <laughs> oh, a filter patch, that's gonna be useful. And everything in here is sterile. You can see everything in the bag. You can see every single grain if you want to. And then same exact thing over here, just with popcorn. And I'm probably going to go crazy with the types of grains I use for these. Um, right now, these are the only two grains available on the site, which there's a link in the description, by the way, if you want to purchase these. Um, it's just way better. So let's go ahead and do the mini bag method. spray those injection ports. I mean, these are all still pretty clean from when I sprayed them initially, but we're going to see just how much easier this is. I'm sure a lot of you already know how this is going to go. I do like to kind of push the grain a little bit down. The biggest thing you don't want to do is stab through the other side, right? But I mean, if, as long as you're careful, it's not that big of a risk. See, I can see everything I'm doing inside the bag right now, which is very nice. I'll just load the rest in there. Ta-da! That's it, you guys. So, I'm trying to be a problem solver here. Um, this is the problem. <laughs> and again, if you like this method, more power to you. I get it. Um, I don't ever do this, though. I would much rather use my own mini bags, which if you want to use these, they're available on the site. I think that this is definitely going to catch on. Uh, I mean, what else do I have to say? Here, this is a fully colonized one. It's, uh, it's not contaminated. I know it looks a little discolored. Uh, it looks a little blue. And, uh, <laughs> it's just because it's, sometimes it turns blue. Uh, certain species, you know, alkaloids in there. But, uh, without saying much more about that, I, I think I've, I've gone over everything. I mean, I just wanted to do a really clear visual demonstration as to why I prefer these over this and I want to make these available to everybody so they're on the website link is in the description and check back later for more videos just like this and I'm gonna keep going I really like how this channel's going I'm gonna try and up the video production quality a little bit try not to ramble too much but I think this video has been okay and I'm going to just ask if you got this far, give it a like.
help push it up in the algorithm subscribe so that you don't miss other videos it, it also helps the channel and that's it you guys i'm gonna sign out from here hope you have a great day good luck on your mycological journey